How's it going, folks? We're back with some more CDH. Um, got to do a double stream this week, which is always really nice. We've got brand new guests. Um, some people that I'm familiar with have, have kind of talked with a bit and um, some new people. And we've got new players, which is always super exciting. That's one thing I'm really hyped for. Um, so we're going to get to introduce some people into CDH, which is all that this channel is about. So uh, we're running a little bit late, so I'm going to keep my intro a bit short, but I'm going to pass it around the table and we'll just go in seat order. Let everybody talk about what they're playing, where you can find them at, and then we will just hop right into it. Cool. Well, uh, hi, I'm Woody or Chris. I'm from Kitchen Table Games. Uh, you can find me on most social media platforms uh, and I post up weekly uh, Well. Not CDH, but Commander every week on a Sunday, um, which you can go and check out on YouTube. Cool. Awesome. Hey, everyone, mate. I am Matt, um, Total MTG. I'm uh, primarily a YouTuber and streamer. Um, my content is normally standard, budget standard, um, pack opening, stuff like that, anything like that. Um, but my favorite format is Commander. Um, just that I can't really put it into my content because you get pigeoned straight in straight away. <laughs> so it's pretty hard to put it into my content, unfortunately. Um, but I love playing Commander. It's my first ever time playing CDH. Really haven't got a clue how my deck works. So this is going to be hilarious. Um, I've just been watching and learning from our host channel mainly as well. Um, it's a Tevish and Timnus stacks deck. It's got a couple of combos in there. Um, but I probably would need to be walked through them on the first game, to be honest. So, um, but yeah, looking forward to playing it. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, thanks for coming on. Hi, I'm Scarland Hunterist. I'm a competitive player. I play Corvald. I own a local game store in the Sacramento, California region called Room to Game. Uh, I am a guest on several different CEDH channels. I don't do any content of my own. Um, I'm a very dedicated CEDH player. Awesome. I didn't know you had a game for That's sick. Super cool. Yeah, it's on a, it's in Cameron Park, California. Room to game. Nice. Yeah. If I ever cross the country, I am heading over there. But as it is, I am pretty far. <laughs> About as far as you can get. Yes, if anybody... <laughs> If anybody would like to get a good CEDH experience where proxies are completely okay because we really want to just support the hobby, come to my store. That's awesome. All righty. Um, then if everybody is good to go, I guess I can play my deck. I'm Matt. If you don't know me, I run the channel Lamar's Cards. We do learn to play. Uh, most recently and most often now, learning CDH. My podcast is run with my friend Eric. Uh, where we teach you how to play CDH. And today I'm switching up a little bit. I'm playing some Dawn Waker Thrasios. This is a bit of like a draw go, kind of slower, mid rangey, grindy deck that um, looks to play Table Police a little bit in the early game and then win by generating infinite mana with um, things like Zerda, Basalt Monolith, or Devoted Druid to pump it into Thrasios and then usually win with a big finale of Devastation. All of that being said, are there any pre-game actions before we get in? Nope. Okay, then I will draw for turn. Okay, um, pretty chill over here. I am just going to play a Sea of Clouds and pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to go and a draw for turn. Um... It's going to be a nice quick start. I forgot to introduce who I'm playing. So I'm playing Krenko. I'm doing lots of impact tremors -y kind of effects. So with that being said, I'm going to play a Mountain for turn. I'll play a Jordan Lewis. And I will turn one Krenko. And that'll be me. Okay. And then watch how slow the rest of the game goes now. <laughs> um, Flooded Strand. I am going to just go and fetch for a tapped land and pass turn. Okay. Uh, 
and the land that's going to come in tapped anyway. And pass turn. Untap upkeep, drop for turn. I'm also just going to play a tapped land for turn. It's a nice slow game. Look at how slow and casual this is. Go ahead. Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> uh, on your instep, I'd like to try an enlightened tutor. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, when it gets to me. Good with me. Yep. I will, based on what my hand's got going for it, which isn't a lot. I guess Sylvan Library is an option, but it's kind of a bad one. Um, will I put Counterbalance in here? I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to grab that, though. I'm going to grab a Mystic Remora. I must have made a lot of swaps. There's some cards in here I did not realize I had put in here. Okay, we will shuffle, put that on top, oops, put that on top, and I'll go to my turn. Uh, tap, upkeep, draw this Mystic Remar. I will play a Volcanic Island as land for turn, and I will try to cast that Mystic Remar. Good with me. Good with me. And if that is all good, I will ship it. Hey, on a tap, upkeep, draw. Oh, that's better. Uh, I'll play mountain for land. Um, then I'll play a dark dweller oracle. I have to look at that one. Uh, yeah, so it's a 2-2 two -two Goblin Shaman. If I pay one, I can sacrifice a creature and exile the top card of my library. I may play that card this turn. Okay. Um, I'll tap my land to pay for it. Uh, and then I'm just going to tap Perenko for a couple of Goblin Tokens. And that will be me. Okay, I'm tap draw. I'll play a... Vault of Champions, and then play Grand Abolisher. Oh, if that's oh I didn't. I didn't Bolisher. pay the fish. Oh, it's not creature. Yeah, it's not creature. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yep, that's good. Yeah, I paid loads, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me past turn. If that's all right. Mm -hmm. See, turn two, dark side worth one. Not yeah, good. It happens. It happens. Um, well, I will play my Phyrexian Tower as land for turn. Feels bad. I will play dark side for one. Hmm. I'm good on that. I will put my treasure nice here. Mm -hmm. It is a one. I will pass turn with five cards in hand. Yep. I will untap upkeep. I have a two mil of upkeep trigger. I will pay with the volcanic island. For this fish that I don't expect to draw a lot of cards with, but <laughs> here we are. Um, you you go ahead and keep that enchantment. Yeah, I'll play a <laughs> command tower for turn. Um, that would have been another dumb fish. Um, we're going to tap for two and cast a devoted druid. When it comes to me, I'm on pass on devoted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll pass. 
Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's going to be it. I'll ship it. Okay. Untap. Draw. Um. Right then. Let's a two for an arcane signet. The Mystic Grimoire trigger. Uh, you may draw. You got one. Um, you got one. And I, I'm just, I'm just gonna build up some some goblins. I'm gonna have another four goblins, and that'll. Uh, I should I should swing at the. At the ad as no ad no player, right? Yes. That's uh, how yeah, it, that's how it works. Good, uh... Heuristic to follow. Hmm. So really, you can only s swing the two two. Yeah, it's only for one. It's not really. It's not really worth it, is it? I'll pass. I'll ship the turn. Okay. That's what I get called out now from that that one hit point that you need. <laughs> you threw. <laughs> I play an exotic orchid. Um. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. It seems a bit early to do this. There is a lot of goblins on there, though. Nah, that, that's quite kind of worried my plan might be a little too slow and steady because this amount of goblins is not something I can easily like interact with. No, they're fine, <laughs> fine, they're fine. Um, I held them back. Goodness. My goodness, people, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fine, by the way. <laughs> no, um. I want to do it just yet. So what I'll do, I think, is I'm gonna uh, tap one black for an imperial seal. Uh, Mr. Kamari Sugar. Um, you can draw a card. Well, you've got to draw a card. I did slowly okay, pay so off. And take my two life. I use that same mouse. Mm -hmm. right. Don't get that one at all. You are, mate. <laughs> As I said, don't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just winded you up because I can't yeah. see. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to tap one wipe for deafening silence. Uh, no, don't get that one. <laughs> and that's me done. Is that what you, um, you put a card okay. on the top for him? Okay. Too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, and then I have a fist trigger on deafening silence. I guess I'm good to draw. Yes. Um. Yeah. I definitely can't respond to any of that with a grand abolisher. So, you got it. Grand abolisher. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. We're gonna do some things. Let's go. We're gonna sacrifice a dockside to a Phyrexian tower, floating to black. Two black right here. We're going to play a land return. It's an exotic orchard. We're going to tap this stomping ground for a green. Green right here. We're going to use the Exotic Orchard. 
That's four mana, two black, two green. I'm going to attempt don't to cast a culling ritual. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. it might be Definitely bad. don't do it. Uh, oh, uh, no. Mystic Remore trigger. I. It sounds like you don't want me to succeed at this, even with all those goblins. <laughs> I mean, so... yeah. I, I don't want you to make that much mana. I like. I mean, I like one of the results, but um. I don't necessarily like the other. Uh, I, I, I needed this. I needed this to be red for a dragon. So I'm gonna see what you draw. Go ahead. I hope it's fine. I'll draw. I've I've got a response. I don't. I will actually have anything. I'm I'm passing. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice one of the goblins, uh, to play the top card in my library. Okay. Which will be this card, which I cannot play. Arms dealer. Uh, but it was one less goblin, right? Yeah, yeah that goes into exile. Okay. That's your response. And then Matt? That's it. Uh, no response from me. No response? Okay, we wipe it. So we're going to yeah, be... Two, uh, what's the total count for everybody? Seven. Two from me. Seven from me. And then two from me. Okay, so 11. I'll do... Six black and five green. And your uh, okay. treasure will, will also go if you don't crack it. I'm going to crack it for red. Sorry about the timing on that. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you in a tournament. I'm going to... I'll mess you up. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to cast an E Witness. For two green and one black, leaving me three green and five black. I'm going to put Dockside to hand. Mm -hmm. Not that it has a lot of value at a table yeah. that's been wiped. <laughs> and now I have a sacrifice for the dragon to eat. So I will come in with Korvald, or attempt to. That's one red, one green, and three black. Okay, so I have two green and two black left. Pass party does on the Crowell. dragon resolve? It's good okay. with me. Crowell does good. I get a counter. I eat a witness. I draw a card. a lot of room for all this non-red stuff. Um, sure do wish I had a treasure. Uh... I'm going to use two black. This is true. Yes. I have this card signed and I've recently put it in, so. Okay. I'm going to use my two black mana and attempt to cast a Dance of the Dead on that Grand Abolisher. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's scary. That's I'm scary. passing. <laughs> I will be passing, but I'm going I've got to no response. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, hey, Grand Abolisher is a 2 2 that I get to keep. Mm -hmm. I barely ever get to have one of these. Like, never really. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have a good value for the last two green. I think I'm at end turn. Let me confirm. I confirm. 
I pass turn for, with four cards in hand. Okay. A dragon and a grand abolisher. Grand abolisher for Corval. That is nice. All right, I will draw for turn. Okay. Let's go. I'll play Waterlog Grove. Grove is land for turn. Um. I will. Definitely did that. Definitely should have played a different land there. That wasn't smart. Um. That's okay. I will cast a um, Ranger Captain. Good for me. Good for me. Okay, I will search. Um, I actually want something that isn't Esper Sentinel here, though. It's actually a 3 3 and it's tapped. Now that I'm reading the card that I had recently put in. I guess it probably still should be Esper Sentinel, though I'm not going to play that, obviously, with my lands. Um, so yeah, I will shuffle. The only other thing I'm going to do is lose a life and cast a Finhorn Elves. And that will put me to seven cards, and I will pass the turn while I shuffle. Okay. I'll untap and I will draw. Um, I will put Skull and Tarn into play. And then panic. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty panic, similar to panic, my play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, because I can't even. Grand Abolisher stops me from Ranger Captain, right? I can't activate that. Uh, uh yeah, I think you can I um, let me look at GA. I don't normally play with it. Yeah, it's just during your right? turn, your opponents can't cast spells. So it's just in it's just in um I thought it was a, or activate abilities of turn. certain Yeah, only during the turn of the player that has Grand Abolisher yeah, though. Or activate abilities of artifacts, yeah. creatures, or enchantments. So yeah, I can't do it on, yeah. on her turn. Yeah. So yeah, you can't crack a you can't crack a captain to stop me, but I also if it makes you feel a little safer, I don't have it. I don't have it unless I draw into it. Um, right. I'm gonna put a goblin engineer on the stack, or oh, and try and put it into play. Good with me, mate. Yeah, good if it gets over here. Cool. When when I go searching, I'm gonna go and crack this fetch land at the same time to save time. If that's okay. All good. Cool. Minus one off there. Uh, let's go into my library. Oh, pretty sure the card I was going for was my next draw. Uh, view all. There we go. Do do do. There's the mountain off the face land. And uh, Oh, I was the next card. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get an. I can't pronounce it. Um, umbral mantle. That's pronounced mm -hmm. anywhere near correctly. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that comes in. That goes to the bin. That's right. I read. I've read this card properly. Yeah. Cool. And then shovel. Um. Then I will create a couple of goblins because uh, they've all seemed to have disappeared. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that, that will be me. Okay. I'll tap draw. Um, I will play a Takinuma. Abandoned. Uh, 
Um, let's do that. And play something. I will play Timla. Mm -hmm. And if that's good, that's me done. Put my prayers Is on the stack. <laughs> <laughs> this does not end up unless I pay for it. Upkeep. Drapper turn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, since nobody wants to pay any dockside fees. Yeah, I was just going to say, a pretty responsible dockside table. <laughs> pretty pretty responsible dockside turn. I well played. Well played. I would have done this percent had I not played the wrong land. So I would have gave you one. Of <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot to take my one from that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. I'm going to begin with a red from Stomping Ground and a colorless from Phyrexian Tower and a colorless or whatever from Exotic Orchard. I'm going to attempt to cast a Jessica's Will and look at three cards. I will target. Uh, cards in hand. I have seven. I have four. Okay, I'll target Matt. I have three. I'll target Matthew. Yeah. Uh, I do not. Oh, that would have been funny to do, but no, I don't have a response. That is primary. Right, I have a GA, so it's going to be a weird response if there is a response. Yeah, there's oh, like yeah. maybe <laughs> weird I'll things do. I could do to lower my hand count, but yeah, it, it would sure. be pretty odd. All right. I got my seven red mana over here. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at Culling the Weak, Nurturing Peatland, and a Badlands. So I will play the Badlands of Land for turn. Or can you? Let's see. Uh, yeah, you three cards really. Right. Yes, I can. Okay. So I get a Badlands. Culling the Weak is not great. Even more mana with nothing to do for it. All right. Seven mana there. I will do this black mana here and two of the red float, taking it to five for a Mayhem Devil. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> don't do anything about it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I will... Let's see. There is not a single blue value card on any board anywhere. Not even one. Nope. That's so funny. What a weird board. <laughs> on a board, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, then I will play a Dockside Extortionist for two of this, leaving me three red to get it out of my hand. It has no value. And then I will attempt to wheel us with the last three. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Uh, yeah. <sighs> nope. I don't like it. But I like can't respond happen. anyway, can we? So. No. Man. no. Do you have a... So, I think my... it's good. we're good? Yeah. We're going? Yeah, it's All good. Right. So, my wheel. Has me pitch a blast. That's my only card in hand. SWAT, Sentinel, Forbidden Orchard, Basalt Monolith, Court of Calling, Mental Misstep, and a land. Blood Samire. Pretty good seven. Yeah, my impact drum is now gone. Oh, Got a land, another gobbo, and Parablus. And mine is Reanimate, Lean in Relic Water, and Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, uh, thank God that's gone. <laughs> I nearly got used it on your on your turn before the culling ritual. <laughs> and then we draw seven, yeah? Yep. Yes, we draw seven. Uh, I have no mana, no mana sources, and I drew no zero rocks. So at this point, I am done with seven in hand. Let me make sure that there's nothing else I can do. Yes, I'm done with seven in hand. I will untap unless anybody else. Well, no, you can't do anything on her instep, so. No. Untap. 
Go to map. Craft iron. Well, that's pretty cool. Um. Okay, I will play this Besaju as land for turn. Plays. Uh. <coughs> hmm. I think I should. Might be able to do both of those. Okay, I'm gonna do the play that seems cooler and smarter. Um, tap a green and a blue, uh, casting Gilded Drake. That's cool with me. Yep, good for me. Pass on Gilded Drake. ETB, I'll try to target a Corvold. Yeah, I have no way to stop you. Okay. I'll swap this over for Corvold. How big is Corvold? Corvold's only a five. I, I did not swing. Okay. I will cast a Lotus Petal. Rack pedal for uh, that much. I'll crack it for a red. No, it probably should be green. I'll crack it for a green. Uh, for one. Crack it for a green. Uh, Corvold triggered. Just a six draw card. You crack your treasure. I do a damage. Um. Let's see. How many treasures do you have? How, what do you? What, oh, you cracked. No, I, I did a lotus you petal. Cracked a petal. Yeah. That's yeah, you cracked a petal. So there's only one damage probably this whole turn. Let's see. Let's put it. Uh, yeah. Let's put it on a goblin. Keep the population mm -hmm. down. <laughs> you put your I, cursor I over it. And like. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's coming. He can do it. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, let me look at what's okay. Um, have that green floating if I want to use it. Uh, I'm going to spin that green mana I had floating to cast a Noxious Revival. I will try to target... I can do this thought. I'll try to target Devoted Druid. You can put that on top as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah no, no responses from me. Uh, yeah. Um. I'd like to sacrifice Ranger Captain. 
I have a Corvold trigger and there's a Mayhem double trigger that I think happens first. Double trigger into the last goblin, I guess. <clears throat> you do. Okay. And then I will deliver for seven and I'll draw. Could have been a Timna. <laughs> <laughs> If I'd known there were going to be two. Yeah. Um, I will. This is real fun. Oh, no. Okay. Um, tap for two, cast a devoted druid. Good. Yeah. Good. Pass on Druid. Tap for a white, casting a swift reconfiguration, targeting devoted Druid. Oh man. That's a what now? Uh, it, That's I read that. it combos with it? devoted Druid to make infinite green mana. Oh okay. yeah. It turns it into a vehicle so it won't be a creature. So it won't have summoning sickness, and then it can put infinite minus one counters on itself without being destroyed. Nice. Yep. I like that. I'm going to get comfy and watch this. <laughs> Anybody have anything to do with that or about that? Anybody have anything they can nothing. sacrifice? Um, um, uh, no, nothing. Uh, no, because I haven't got another artifact to, to trigger the engineer. No. Okay. Infinite green uh, mana. Yeah. yeah. Represent infinite green, and then I'll use a blue to cast Thrasios using some of that infinite green. And then you'll spin. Yeah, and then we can activate Thrasios. And does anybody need this explained? You can walk through it if you want. I can explain it. Yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna draw the deck basically. Um right. until Basically able to put together just a hand that it can't be stopped, and then I didn't go to combat this turn, so I also um, he can always can finale. finale of devastation with my infinite green once I draw that. Um, which right. I, I don't think it went to the graveyard. If it went to the graveyard, I can just e wit it back. It didn't go to the graveyard though. But then I'll have um, put out all my creatures, or at least three creatures, and then have or at least a lot of creatures. Finale. Uh, can Psychrift the board away and then smack everybody. Mm. Yep. Really big hasty Sounds dudes. good. Nicely done. That was an interesting wheel for me because it gave me... I think Noxious might have been a draw that I got, but Swift Recon Reconfiguration gave me gave me the Gilded Drake and then also Seaborn, which is what I was thinking about doing instead because I had the mana to do Seaborn Thrashers. Uh -huh. But uh, then I saw that there was a potential win line there. There's a direct line through. Yeah. yeah. My uh, my my next draw seven was kind of a god hand, but I had no zero yeah, drops man. to get there, so it was going to be next turn. Yeah. But it had Citadel and Final Fortune in it. Ooh. And Veil of Summer. Yeah, I didn't have any interaction bag. either. Nice. I, well, I had a Mind Break Trap, but <laughs> which I guess gets through Veil, but you can just slam. Like you don't even need to cast that many spells. Like you just slam the Citadel, and then. Yeah, I would be slamming the Citadel, yeah. and then and then it doesn't really matter what I Mind Break Trap. I eventually get something, but nothing great compared to Citadel. So plus, Grand Abolisher. It's nice yeah. to play behind a. White yeah. gets good cards. White gets good yeah. cards. That's true. Yeah, I, I like to take them. Didn't find mm -hmm. enough sexy uh, pieces there. So how are we on time for everybody? Because I know we had a time concern. I can still play one more if Chris can. Do another one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Perfect. All right. Don't um, worry. I'll win real fast. We'll try to make it a quick one. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to play the same deck though, because so that's the only one I got at the moment. I've got Urza being built, but it's not ready yet. Yeah, I'll going to random us again. Yeah. I'll grab the boys, fast boys. I'll do it three times. One, two, That's a bad. Three. 
That's the same yeah. turn yeah. order, right? <laughs> the same oh, turn order. yeah. Do you, want, do you want to go again? No, oh. it's it's what it, that's what randoms for. Oh, cool. I'm thing. fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I'm I'm fine to redo it if if y'all want to, but spell table is. I tend to take I take fate at it face value. <laughs> <laughs> spell table is spell table. Okay. It do what spell table does. Uh, uh, this is a very strange hand, but I am fourth behind a stacks player, and there's only one blue at the table. Yeah, I'm going to keep my first seven. That's not a super scary keep. It's just the I'm in seat four, and I've seen this table now, seven. <laughs> <laughs> just for, for the record, this is not a turn one ad nauseum or anything. <laughs> I'm I'm going with that. Uh, I'm going to use the inexperience as an excuse to keep this seven. Cause I'm going to go to my second looks seven. Interesting. Yes, I mean, I think it's quite a good start. So. You are one of four people in the world, I would guess, who has played in this exact pod composition because not a typical this pod. Very unconventional. <laughs> very yes, unconventional. This is an extremely unconventional experience. I don't. I didn't even. I didn't know that people were really brewing. Um, Orzov in that particular I think I'd seen it about six months ago but I didn't know that it had gotten legs so I don't think I've ever played this deck even hmm. I've seen a little bit of it it does just have like an insane amount of card draw if you can get the stuff online yeah. if you can land it right yeah. yeah but the fact that it has to be a stacks build means that you're not dedicated to enough of the rocks to get I mean I guess you can do it of course you can do it I'm not I'm not disparaging any deck Please don't get me on camera saying like I didn't know that was a deck. Ooh, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> oh my god! This is my next well. video right here. Here we go. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Play what you want. I love the meta. <laughs> I literally I built this because although it does play some of the fast mana rocks, it doesn't tend some builds haven't played them because it has, it has a lot of restrictions. So I thought it was a and I had most of the cards, so it was like mm -hmm. let's give it a go. It can draw in, it can draw a huge amount of guards for sure. Yeah, with Timner and Tevish you can really go. This is go through such them. an interesting like potential keep of a hand, but it's so wonky. I think if there was a second land here I'd be inclined to keep. But our second mana source of any kind. I'm gonna go to six. Sounds wise. Yeah, that hand was gonna probably be doing turn one like land Simeon Spirit Guide for a red cast Fairy Mastermind, which I don't think is that great of a rock size start. Might get a lot of triggers in a Corvold and Timna Tevish pod though, but. Kept a very unconventional hand. If anybody is counting on me to do normal stuff, I may not be. <laughs> You're still not on like the the face breakers and grim hireling stuff, right? That Eric's doing. Followed Eric. I um I've doubled down on what has been. It's a slight. It's just slight variations. The build that he was on about two months ago is still where I am with a mm -hmm. a really heavy reference to Bolas' Citadel and Magdalines. Okay. I do, I mean, I run Adnaz, I run Citadel and ways to get Citadel, and then I focus on both of those. Mm -hmm. um, but most of my games go into the mid-range because my early my early rocket shot gets cancelled, and then it's in the graveyard, and then I'm on dockside loops most of the time. Yeah. So yeah. Then, I, then I'd be looking for a breach devil, a breach wheel, a breach lion's eye diamond a breach etc or or a ruthless technomancer saw in half uh -huh. i have uh -huh. all of that same tech i have all of the post-combat tech this is a horrible six so i gotta go five <clears throat> got to reset my life 
guess mine didn't change too much. But... Mine didn't change, which feels very strange. Yeah, that's not typical. <laughs> I think mine was just my lands. <laughs> that was it. Okay. This five's gonna be fine. Considering I run I run nine fetch lands and I didn't even see one to even do myself one damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did like turn one tap shock land. Two, three, four, five, six. Be well, because yeah. there was no value on the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> um my my seat four turn one dark side had a zero. And my seat for turn two docks, I'd only had one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, this five is not very good either. It would be like these two are going down. It's all right, rock three. No matter what, you've got to turn one play. That's true. It might not be a good turn one play, though. Um, man, I might be supposed to go to four on this hand. Whoa, four. Oh, I go to four all the time. Yeah. Part of the game. Um the go fast X, go fast. Yeah, this doesn't get me cards really. If I had a mana source early on, it might be okay, but that wouldn't have worked. Yeah, that would have been a super dead hand. Okay, go to four. I'll probably keep a four. Whatever it is, but I think this deck could get good threes, so who knows? Okay, let's look at the book. I usually try not to play this deck like an absolute crazy all in turbo thing, but you do need pretty specific hands, I think, to make this deck work. Let's see. Seven. Yeah. <coughs> um, yeah, this seems like it's probably keepable. So let's do bottom you. I want to trust my deck. Hmm. I'm sitting here thinking about keeping a pyroblast, and I'm realizing I'm in a completely sand blue pod. That <laughs> isn't, pyroblast. isn't the best. Okay, this is a pretty not great four, but we're going to keep it because it does have a way to get going, I guess, at some point. Um, yeah, any pregame actions? Nope. 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 Okay, then I will draw and really hope. Okay, well, I didn't want to do anything anyways. That's cool. I'll play a command tower. And I don't even know if I'm, yeah, I'll play Roger. Pass. Okay, draw. Did you change your commanders? Is, oh, yeah, do I people care? That. Oh yeah, that just totally threw me then. I was like, what? Yeah, it was, I was kind of... <laughs> my bad. Come on. Uh... I thought I can't say anything because I don't know what's, what's going on. I always forget to do that. I'm, I'm going to play an ancient tomb. And I'm going to tap that for two and take two damage. Mm -hmm. My life total. Uh, I'm going to use one to play soul ring. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tap the soul ring and use the other one for a, a Pyrexian altar. And that's me. And that seemed really cool. And now I've got nothing else to do for the rest of the game. Oh. Well, I will draw. I will play pretty planes. Um, tap one for a soul ring. Mm -hmm. Where were all of you last <laughs> turn? <laughs> tap two for a thorn of amethyst. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, and past ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Ooh. goodness. I mean, the dark side counts. I always buy some a bit of a cost there. Yeah, the dark side count is tasty. Um, well, that is a very interesting story. I'm going to shock in a blood crypt. I'm going to tap it and take two and play a stealing monkey and say go. <laughs> okay. I will untap. Oh. Six cards in hand. Um, yep. We're still mostly just chilling over here. I will play a volcanic island, and I will pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Uh, mountain for turn. Ah, oh, that's yeah. That's another problem. There's double red. <laughs> Three, four, five. That'll be me. <laughs> okay. Thank Go <goodness>. <laughs> um, Untapped raw. Um, play a swamp. Um, tap one white and two for the soul ring to play blind obedience. <sighs> Okay. And if that's okay, I will pass down. Stacks decks are playing stacks this time. What the heck? Oh no, I'm actually doing it right <laughs> <laughs> for the for the for the minute anyway. All right. Play a mana confluence. <laughs> uh, this is a very expensive non-creature spell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one more than I wanted to pay for it. Uh, let me think about that. Let me see what I see first. Um, I will announce combat. Uh, let's see. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Krenko plays a lot of rocks, but two of them are out already. But still, I'd be happy to see one. I'll go ahead and put yeah. two into the goblin. And see Sounds what your top good. card is. We've got that card there. Did you see it or did we read it? Uh, uh, new Cranko, right? Cranko's yeah. 10 Street. Okay, let me think ten about that. Street it costs 3, so I could cast it. Whenever Cranko puts a attacks, put a, um, that does not advance my strategy. It's for the okay. grindy matchups. Okay. Uh, all right, three mana, and that's a ten exile now, right? Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Birds of Paradise, taking a damage for the mana confluence, and I will be at end turn. And that comes in tapped if it makes any with blind. Yeah, it won't. It, I don't think it'll make a difference, but yes. No, no, I don't think it will. No. Five cards in hand. Go ahead. I will play this land. Um, I guess I am at the point where I could cast Silas. Do I even want to? I don't think I do. I'm going to. Um, I guess while there, I don't see any oppo mana, I'll go ahead and fetch, go to 39, but, um, I'm <laughs> not going to do anything else. I'm going to pass. Oh, oh, better, oh yeah. my days. I'm the only black player. Oh no, I guess Tevish could. Yeah. Tevish could. Uh, do you play oppo Matt? You what, sorry? Do you play oppo? Opposition yeah. agent? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I figured that'd be in there. I will play Cranko. Yeah. I'll get that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll play Cranko, and then if that's okay, I'll pass over to Total. Yay. Draw. Oh, that'll come in tapped, won't it? All right. I will play a 
Cat Verdant Cacooms. Um, um, hmm. I'm going to fetch Loser Life. Oh, I see Silla's in there. Hey, how's it going? And Bear. I missed all these chats. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm late. It's just yep. Yeah, I missed the chat because my setup got rocked right before I went on stream. Um, I've been untapped. Game one, I got to do it. Um, win. And game two, I might get to play. <laughs> Gary's still out on that. <laughs> Depends what the stack player says. <laughs> I feel like this this has helped me a bit because I I mean I had nothing for somebody going for a fast win uh, so my like three lander I, I kept I think plays into this kind of chill. Uh, um, pass turn. Treasure for green and pay an extra for an expensive worldly tutor. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is where I could really use my op agent, but I don't have <laughs> it, so I'll have to pass. Good with me. Good with everybody? Yeah, good with yeah. me. Okay. Okay. Now, why would you go and get that? <laughs> like, it is like what I do. It's kind of what I do. It's basically what I do. I mean, let's be real. It is the deck. <laughs> it is, it's it more is value than last game. <laughs> they do enter tap though, so it will make. Yeah, I know the players are going to enter tap. I'm like, we're oh. we're in a very slow place. We're okay, yeah. We're in a very slow place. But yeah, like I'm not doing anything this turn. I'm not popping off because they're all tapped. Okay, this goes to top, and then I untap, and I upkeep and draw it. Mm -hmm. I play my land for turn. It's Phyrexian Tower. Mm -hmm. I will play that Dockside for five, all tapped. Okay, I'm in response to the cast trigger on that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay one, two, three to flash in a Hushwing Griff. That's uh, no ETBs. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no ETBs. Okay. Um, comes in tapped. And then I'm gonna, oh, sorry, can I just pay one to extort as well? With my blind. Sure. We all take a damage. Yeah. Man, yeah. that was a that was a play right there. Right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We're gonna look That's it. Mission baseball. achieved, Matt. You've uh, I've done something. I've done something. You've That's impressed it. the host. Just kill me now. <laughs> yeah, that's um, good. We're gonna yeah, still looking for probably rocks. I don't know. All I seem to be drawing is land, so I'd go. I'd go my way. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm still going to hit Krenko because yes, there could be some fair. good juice on top. Nope. What have we got? No. Nope. Shattering spree. Oh, no. Destroy artifact. Okay. Destroy target artifact. That's not going to help me. Because mm. that griffin is not those. an artifact. I guess you're worried about that. I could get rid of the thorn, but it could unlock everybody for all I know. Yeah. Um. Mm. I don't have it. I don't have any other really big values happening, so I'll pay one on the mana confluence and, and drop that thorn. 
Oh, wait, I can't. I don't have two you mana. Have to pay I'm not two charging a treasure for that. You got the bird. Oh, the badge, yeah. That's right. Yep, we're good. We're good. We got it. Okay. Uh, no more thorn. End turn. Okay. That is the saddest dog die <laughs> ever. <laughs> Comes in town. I thought it was going to make tap treasures. Instead, treasures. Instead, it just doesn't do anything. I just like, <laughs> tapped one, two for two. Sad We're all talking side. about Oppo Agent. Date <laughs> <laughs> um, that is my most historical moment in CDH. <laughs> I will. That's going to be my definitely, now, isn't definitely, it? Sure. definitely have to use our Haber Ghost <laughs> card. Um, I don't think I do anything. My stuff is a little bit cheaper, but I don't think I do anything on your end stuff. Um, so I will go to my turn. Tap upkeep for draw. Okay, that's a card. Hold on. Getting cards in this deck now. Let's go. Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh oh, this gemstone mine has three counters on it. I forgot to do that. I'm gonna cast my first non Roger spell. I'm so excited. Um, let's do play turn four, it's fine. Two, <laughs> 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 two here. I'm slow and steady. I try to tell people this is a mid range deck. I'm gonna cast demonic tutor. It's not. It's not a mid range deck. <laughs> it's got risk study on and no counter spell. That's on D tutor. <laughs> Okay, I will search. I know, that's also some stuff. I'm jealous of those things, by the way. I would also like to have a Rhystic study. And Very spell. good, it turns out. <laughs> oh, bad cards, yeah. Okay, I think... I kind of put myself in a spot now where I... think I... Yeah, this is the only one that makes sense. This is a mana count. Okay. We're jumping through some hoops here. <laughs> But that's magic, I guess. I don't know. Where's our mana, man? Let's see if I can find it. That mystery card. Are you sure you're on that one? I'm pretty sure. Okay, just checking. Have a mystery card now. I should have done this other thing first. We'll see if I get messed up for doing this. I would like to cast a Deadly Rollick targeting Hushwind. That is Exile Target Creature. I approve. I would like to say thanks from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know it helps other people too. So I was a little, you know, like, eh, do I do that? But I think I have to in the position I'm in. Um, and it already like blew out a dock side a little bit. So if the second dock side gets a little. To go off, yeah, whatever. I would like to cast dock side extortion. <laughs> oh, oh, just if, <laughs> if it gets to go off, it's fine by me. I can't no do responses, it. so I can't do anything. Oh, I crack a treasure for value less. Actually, what what would you yeah, I will. Out of just out of principle. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the <laughs> red doesn't case. That's fine. Four treasures, right? I think it's four. Two for me, one for Matt. One for me, yeah. Okay. Is that three um, then? Um I'll I guess move to my second main phase. I'll go through combat. Uh, just to get four. rid of it. Enchantments count. Huh? Blind obedience. It's four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, blind, blind obedience. obedience. Yeah, cool. Blind obedience counts. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad you said that. I couldn't see the fourth. <laughs> My spell yeah, table was being dead slow. <laughs> these, um, but I don't... Yeah, I don't think I want to do anything with that. So I'm just going to... 
I had to crack my treasure because I knew it was four and there was a chance that you had a Adnaz, so. Well, they enter taps. That's true. They do enter taps. Um, I still crack it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be it. I'll pass. Yeah. Tap upkeep draw. Oh, I get to do something. Cool. Um, I calling will. Ritual. Yeah, we saw an insane calling ritual already, Eric. Play a mountain for turn. Um, yeah, last game I had a calling writ on turn two for 11. I'll have uh, one generic mana floating and I'll play an engineer. Is that okay with everyone? Three, sorry. Turn three. Yeah. 11. I'm good on it. If it gets to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is tap two. Yeah, you can have all the things. All the things. All the things. All the things. What is the one thing I need? Hang on. I've got this written somewhere. Now I realize. Hmm. Uh, I am going to get the uh, Thornbite Staff. Mm -hmm. Shuffle my library. That will go to my graveyard. Uh, what have we got left? Two, one float in, two, three, four, five. Well, that's pretty rubbish. I can't do anything else with it. Um, I will pass over to you, Matt. Okay. Untap draw. Play an arid missile. Hmm. Tap five for Tevish. Yeah, big boy. Yeah. 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 Um, and I will plus two to make some thralls. And past ten. And tap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. I'm going to see if you're going to block with Roger. I've been thinking all game about do I block with Roger in this scenario. Um, I'm going to ask the question that we've both been pondering. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get the tapped. The treasure you get is tapped. Tapped. The treasure I got is tapped. Oh. I have three mana open. One of them co makes anything. I'm card. looking for. I get mean, I would love your fit. My deck and my deck is pretty yeah. good. Um, pretty good. Could be. Could be pretty good. I think but it's I, also I think I, could be. Could be nothing. Yeah, but I've already been drawing all the nothing, so I think I think the pretty good is sure to come. <laughs> <laughs> I think the pretty good is coming up soon. Surely, I think I'm supposed to block here with what's in my hand. I think I'm supposed to block the right man. Okay. Uh, then you do. I'll have and Roger return to the command zone. I don't get this treasure. And then let me think about my three mana, four mana with a birds. My four mana with a birds. Well, having done that, I will attempt to cast a saw in half on a dock side for a whole bunch of tapped treasure. Hmm. Fine with me. 
Yeah, I passed priority. Yeah. My tap treasures can't interact yeah. with that. <laughs> okay. So my red I'm deck get... can't interact with that. <laughs> well, a bolt would actually be pretty good here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll screenshot my hand and then put it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have two one two dark sides. They both enter and give me. I think they're one one if it's uh, relevant because they get half. One one. Yeah. I have two one one dark sides. That are tapped. They are. They have so they much are going against them. They are tapped. <laughs> they are puny. It is sad. <laughs> they make tapped treasures. Day and they make Bad day in Dockside Town. Okay, and then you have four. Uh, he has two, so six, and then seven, right. so 14 treasures. 14 tapped treasures, folks. <laughs> Is it? I'm going to use a spin I down. More than that, because I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Because oh, yeah, Matt has eight. Matt has two, so it should be uh, four for me, two from... Uh, Chris, and then two for Matt, so it should be eight. Eight. Okay, so we got eight. 16, 16 tap treasures, tap folks. Treasures. <laughs> 16. Gosh. 16 tap treasures, people. Just saying it. Okay, and then I enter in with three cards. Okay. <coughs> I'll untap. Uh, let's see how cool that ragavan draw would have been. <coughs> I wouldn't have been. Well, okay, yeah, you could have mm -hmm. had that one. Um, Come here. Okay. We have. Two options, basically. Either have to try to win or try to handle however much mana she has. You well, you I'm have to win. Twenty mana. You have to win because I I've got it next turn. Oh, frick. What? <laughs> <laughs> With those six mountains in it. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not in my hand. It's in my grave. All oh, right. Um. What the heck? I guess this is what we're here for. Uh, tap for three. Yeah. I will try a Wheel of Misfortune. Oh, okay. Okay. I will write a thing on a card. Yeah. Each player secretly picks a number. Um, whoever has the lowest number doesn't wheel. Everybody above that does wheel. The person who picks the highest number takes damage equal to the number they pick. And they also wheel. Hopefully I summed it up better than the card itself does, because that is a lot of text to explain. <laughs> what I think is a pretty simple concept. Mm -hmm. um, Where am I going to write this now? Let I know. I'm going to make a token. Oh, you can send it in Twitch chat if you want. You can. Uh... I'm gonna set a number of counters. Oh, can you? Oh, you guys can read that on screen. That's a terrible solution. <laughs> Let's not do that then. Go in Twitch chat. Everyone can look. What do we reckon, chat? Well, you can just... pick a number less than thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> less than thirty-seven. Good. That's a good starting <laughs> criteria for it. Um, I'm wondering how many cards are in hand total, like right now for everybody before we do this. Um, I've got three, four oh, for me. I feel like everybody wants to wheel, probably. Everybody wants to wheel. Everybody wants to wheel for sure. I don't mind. I don't mind. Mm. I don't mind. I think I'm gonna I'm hit send as soon as everyone's ready. Like my number is only marginal marginally less than thirty seven. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. gonna go with this number. Okay, everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. And go. Mine's in chat. Oh, oh wow. no way. Team. <laughs> Twenty 
one. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I've had that exact thing happen to me, and uh, I think it was at a tournament. They went one lower. So Matt, Matt wanted your hand, so we all go, but you don't. Um. Yeah. What was Matt's number? Zero, as far as Zero. I can tell. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you don't Zero. feel. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he'll take twenty, <laughs> and then everybody. Nice. Everybody else will we all. I'm willing to force the wheel and a cyclonograph. Talisman of indulgence, final fortune, pyroblast. <laughs> and I take twenty. See, I could have overloaded a rift, no. but then I'm just left with so little that I'm just like, eh. Like you guys can see that I was one mana off of final fortuning. Yeah. Activating all of that. Okay, seven cards. Nice. Seven. Give me my little nineteen number here. Okay. Um, mana confluence is land for turn. Oh, so I discard my hand as well, right? Yeah, you you also will still wheel. Uh, was that was was Chris? Was asking that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so seven. Yeah. So it's okay. I drew a land. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, man, compliments land for turn. Ah, oh, man, that stupid blind obedience makes this so much yeah. harder. Um, go blind. That really does make it a lot harder. Okay. Uh, Somebody said they were winning on their turn, right? Yeah, so it doesn't much matter what I have. Okay. Um, I think I am. I might, I might mess it up between now and my turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get from only like being th fourth game in now. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Exile a Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. Floating a red. What do I do with all my tokens? Panicking. Don't panic. Take time. It's fine. Breathe. <laughs> I just need to redo my life here on this desk. because My desk is a mess with these tokens. They're everywhere. Okay. Red banner floating. Um, so artifacts and creatures enter the battlefield tapped. That's the only stacks piece, right? Yeah. Okay. I will... Spend that red mana. Oh, no, I won't. I'll tap. Mana Confluence for a black going down to 37. I will cast a Cling the Weak, sacrificing Dock Size an additional cost. Uh, how is Cling the Weak? Uh, I, I hate it. But that's to be expected. Uh, At this table, there are no police but you, my friend. Well, so, white. Uh, so calling the weak result? Yeah. Okay. I'll make four black. I, oh, man, this is where I, <laughs> that stupid blind obedience. Um, nineteen. Let's go. Red. Oh, we're doing calling the week, not calling ritual. We're fine. Sorry, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't run calling. I'd run. I put if I can, I guess. But you can't. You can't. <laughs> you didn't. I. Yeah. I'm just way out of it. I have to mnemonic. But that's what I had to type into the spell table to double check. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, thought, I thought we had a sweep. <laughs> How do we feel on breach? Um, um I, I hate that also, but I'm also going to do nothing about that. Nope. Yep. Um, yep. I can't do anything. Okay. Um. So this is where it gets a little tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in graveyard. Um, I 
Let's spend a black going to two. And then we'll tap this gemstone mine going to one. To escape demonic tutor exiling uh da, 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 da. these three cards. Rollick land and a force of will. Uh okay. Demonic Tutor on the stack. Um I might be able to do something. I'm just double checking. No, that doesn't work. Nope, go around. Okay, I'll search. Got damn magic rules. <laughs> <laughs> Rewrite the card quick. Yeah. Finally, the red player gets a direction, can't do anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it feels like to play blue and be tapped out <laughs> I will grab this card shuffle Okay. Um Bonic Tutor back to graveyard. I will cast a Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah. Voice. Which will enter tapped, but fortunately it does not matter. Mm. Uh, you got a loop on with that now. Uh, I have to get another piece here, but I will. If LED's good, I'm going to sack it, making three blue. Discarding my hand. Uh, I'll just use this. Not 30, but this works. And that's a three and not a 30, if you can even read that. Um, and then I'll use a blue and a black to escape that demonic tutor one more time. That should be it. Yeah, and that'll get brain freeze, and then from there, someone has to do something where that's game. And we'll exile. Yep. Uh, how's brain freeze worded? Um, storm target player mills the top three cards or mills three. Okay. It's gotta be. Uh, boys, uh, oh, your storm counts on stupid amounts anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it. Yeah. I would think. I'll let you carry on, and then I'll say that what I'm thinking. Okay. And then you guys can tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> and then you there's, can finish your combo. There's a lot of that <laughs> when you get into CD8. There's like a lot of like, oh, well, actually, this works this way. That works this way. Oh, um, well, here. Uh, oh, did you pay the one? Oh, you didn't? Well, you drew me exactly what I needed off my Rhystic study. There's a whole lot of that. <laughs> yeah, and then I will get and cast from my hand the Brain Freeze, targeting myself. Okay. One blue. So, so the only thing I can do, but I don't think it's going to matter, mm -hmm. Is I can deflect and swap one of them because there's going to be so many copies, yeah. it's not going to matter, right? Yeah, because they're all different abilities or spells or abilities or they're copies. Perfect. So, yeah, so it'll only hit one of them. And then at this point, what... I'm going to do it just to feel useful. Yeah, so it would be three less of whatever <laughs> that Storm is like seven or eight, probably more, maybe more than that. Yeah. And then um, these power out my ability to escape with Underworld Breach. Um, mm -hmm. so then I just escape Lion's Eye Diamond to make more mana and then at this point I don't really have to do it a lot normally you'd have to keep brain freezing to get to like Thassa's Oracle but because I have the Demonic Tutor I can just do it one more time get enough to escape everything I need and then Demonic Tutor for the Oracle and win from there nicely done he... nicely done um, for interest sake mm -hmm. Me going to grab the a Thornbite staff is what would have given me the win next turn. 
Yeah, that was in your graveyard, right? Yeah, off the um, off the engineer. So I could I could have sacked the solar ring off to go and get the staff back, and then got off. I'm trying to remember how that works. Equip creature, it, it deals one. So, so yeah, it'll deal <laughs> one, and then I will use the Phyrexian oh, altar yeah, to sacrifice yep. two goblins. Yeah, and then I'll just keep tacking Krenko for a bunch of goblins, and then. Yeah, one damage. Trinko also makes a bunch of dudes when he's doing that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> if I had played Tevish, then I thought about keeping up interaction. Um, I'd vanish in verse. Would that have made a difference to how you you win in? Um, yeah, because that can hit breach. So I could have exiled your breach in response um, after you played it, but could you have still then gone on and still done what you needed to do, or there it would have made it to where i had to have mana up because i had a forcible in the graveyard but i'd have to be able to hard cast force the will in response and i don't think right. i had any Ooh. other interaction there's like maybe depending on what was in my graveyard there's maybe a chance i could dig for something but that definitely would have been like i would have had to stop that because that directly right. stops my win from happening there so that was definitely the better move to not play tevish because it did nothing really and just um, keep that up it well when you play tevish like we all only had like three cards in hand yeah. And then I wheeled there to be able to get put the win together. So, like, I don't think it was a misplay because yeah. you went off the info you had. Yeah. I'm sorry to be a noob, but um, I played Thorn first. Would you have played Thorn or Blind Obedience first? Because I had both in hand. Turn one. Um, Probably Thorn. Because it Thorn, slows yeah. Mana Rocks and so Tutors. I was thinking of the Mana Rocks. Yeah. Because there's like a lot of one mana tutors, and we saw that she had to like pay two for her worldly tutor. Uh, yeah, which hurt there. So yeah, probably that. Neither affected yeah. me because cool. I didn't do anything for four turns. But <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, I think Thorn is just generally going to be more impactful unless you're in like a creature deck matchup. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I, th I think it was good. Um, but I'm a yeah. Good so we are it's probably a pretty good point to stop. Um, yeah. so yeah, thanks everybody for coming on. I'm gonna go around the table again and see where because we said in the same order twice. We can just be perfect rerun. <laughs> we'll go back in turn order and let everybody um. Uh, talk about where they can find you, what events you might be at. You, uh, feel free to put your link trees in the chat. Anything like that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, so I'm Chris or Woody. Uh, I am part of Kitchen Table Games. I do, I stream every week and I upload onto YouTube every week. There's my link tree in the chat for everyone. Um, I'm currently running a worldwide giveaway. So if you follow me on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube, I'll enter you into the giveaway for a Commander Precom. Um, just trying to think of anything else. Nothing really, other than I get to play Commander with Matt every week, and I will pass over yeah. to Matt. Yeah, we have a really fun Commander League every Thursday, which is yeah. which is fun. Um, yeah, I um just want to say thank you to everyone here. This was really fun playing the first time. And it's so different to not normal Commander. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, but really enjoyed it. And just makes me want to build more decks now and just get this deck better, even if it's not in the right place. I don't know, but. I definitely would enjoy playing it. Um, but yeah, that was just super fun. Uh, if you want to follow me, Total MTG everywhere, YouTube. I myself will have a giveaway very soon. I'm about 100 subs away from 15,000 on YouTube. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway then. I'm not sure what it'll be yet, but um, you have to sub to be doing it to win it. So yeah. Have me on. Yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Caroline. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm Scarland Huntress. Um, my real name's Ananda. I play lots of tournaments and I play lots of conventions and I have a local game store in Northern California and you can play with me on many discords. I only play CEDH. I will explain why CEDH is the best format to anyone anywhere <laughs> and you can fight me. Let's go. And uh, anybody who wants to be my friend, I'm I'm pretty friendly, but I don't do any social media and I'm not an influencer, nor as far as I know, am I really trying to be. But I'm in a lot of channels. Hi. Awesome. Yeah. Got to spread the good word about CDH. I love it. Um, 
was great to get to play with some new people. Um, if you, um, yeah, it's 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 a really, it feels a little overwhelming when you first jump into it, but like it's just so fun to just be able to like jam all the most ridiculous cards that you know might normally be a little bit too much in a casual pod, and like the the brain power sometimes you have to use to to know how to navigate like a, a table full of people interacting with you as early as turn one. That just like gets me going. It's just like a super puzzle every single game. Um and yeah, it's so so different every game. So yeah, thanks for coming on. Glad to get to be some of your earliest CDH oh, cool. experiences. Um if you want to play some more games, absolutely. If you want to know decks oh, that I might suggest <laughs> or uh where to go next, what to learn, you can check out my YouTube channel. With, like I know some of you have already, but <laughs> anybody watching that hasn't yeah. seen it, you can check out Lamora's cards over on YouTube. Or um, the Learning CDH podcast over on Spotify, Apple Podcast, wherever you can listen to a podcast, it's probably over there. And yeah, lots of educational content about um, the best way to play Magic, of course, and um, getting into it, and hopefully getting better with it, and just having fun as you as you improve. So thanks everybody for coming out. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, and uh, keep playing CDH. Have a good one. Hey guys. Uh...